Can make. I'm bored. You know what? So am I. Where can we go where some place is really exciting and entertaining and active and all that? You make know, besides using your motorcycle. Yes. Because I'm too old for that now. Well, it is pretty much. Halloween I hear, so I guess we could go out to the pumpkin patch. That's actually a good idea. But I'm not sure this pixie cream would like that. Wait. She's very fond of pumpkin patches. But I need to tell you this. Uh I'm not so sure, but we'll take her anyway. Come on. Oh. Oh, hey, King Big. Hey, Spixie Queen. Well, I, me and Boober had this idea. Yeah, we want to go to the pumpkin patch. It's actually a great idea. We might be being pretty bored, actually. So, you want to go? Sure. Let's do this. All right. You know, see, there's no jars over here, so you're pretty, actually, pretty protective for yourself. I'll go pick out a pumpkin while you guys were here. Good idea. No. 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 Oh, I'm looking at the, look at the great pumpkin from Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, what's this one? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Okay, I got a pumpkin, and it comes with an extra pair of wings. Are you sure that's not just a dragon, bluebird? Could be a trap. I don't know, it looks kind of fun. I mean, you can fly on it. You know he's wanting to fly, Blue Bird. Yeah, you mean I, you saying I can't fly? Don't tell me you can't. Um, ah, oh, what a shame. I mean, come on. Please bring this pumpkin home. I can bake. Bring it in here. You had to pick a really heavy one here, Bluebird. <clears throat> okay. So, what do you think we should do with it? With this, it's got wings. So, what would you do with them? Well, we should still carve the pumpkin. It looks like it's already carved too. That's probably what I'm talking about, Bluebird. When I'm, what I'm, she means is this is probably a dragon. Nonsense, Kimpei. Dragons aren't real. Well, neither are fairies. And we're looking at one right now. Yeah, I'm a fairy. What's wrong with that? Well, I like being called a Strixie. A fairy is kind of an insult to me, so... It's alright. 
Nah, it's all, it's all right too, strictly clean. But still, I want to get this thing carved. I say it's already carved, Bloodbird. Oh. Well, we should just take all the seeds out, just in case it gets all too sticky and decay. Hey, a knife came back. Okay. King Pig. That one. These are scissors, but it's close enough to a knife, so I guess that works. Alright. Get the sides out. <laughs> Whoa! What's happening to you, Sparky Queen? It's just looking at me. I think you're right, King Big. It was a dragon. What kind of dragon is it? It's a pumpkin dragon, but I can't tell if it looks pretty friendly. And seriously, um, look at those wings. They're kind of messed up there. And the uh, there's horns on it. Not to mention the hair on the stem. The eyes are glowing too, so. You really think it's a good idea to hang out with this thing? It's just a baby. Let's say it's just a baby, so. How are it gonna be? Babe, it's making me fly. Cool, right? King Pig? King Pig? Great. <laughs> Bluebird! Um, Bluebird. Run! Why don't we stop? That guy needs help. Wait! I thought he was evil. I see the good in everyone. Uh. Oh, can you help me? I was just wanting someone to pick me out of the pumpkin patch. Then give him a good old scare. Well, Kinda of scared us a little too much. Won't do it again. I swear. Just help me up. You've been feeling a little sick. What are you doing with that dragon? I need to take it to our nearest hospital and try to fix it. But we're doing it in your mind. You feeling better, pumpkin dragon? 
Oh, thanks for calling me just the pumpkin dragon. Some people just call me the evil pumpkin dragon because of how I look. But I'm feeling just fine now. So, you're not really evil, you just look like that? Yeah, all the other pumpkins picked on me. Even though none of them were really alive. I think, I think the people just picked on me, not the pumpkins. Pumpkins are sure to be evil, so I guess it's kind of a weird thing to begin with. Bluebird? Do you think there's a way to cheer him up? I have just a thing.
good tales while on the trails of the feline fiend reviled. Pumpkin Cowboy couldn't leave, for his cow was now with child. If they ran away, she'd have to stay, and she might not survive. So we waited by her side all night for the scoundrel to arrive. His mind was awfully groggy when he finally arose. He touched the ground and sadly found the thing that he had feared. While he slept under the moonless night, his cow had disappeared. But a moo came from the nearby field, and the cry was harsh and chill. Cat Cowboy held our hero's cow, and it looked like he could kill. Hockey Cowboy spoke in hurried yells as he pleaded with the cat. He'd give him all his wrench and land, he'd let him take his hat. But the rascal took no compromise, no hat, no wrench, no plane. He said the thing he wanted most was just to inflict pain. And his pumpkin cowboy heard this, he ran at such a clip. That cowboy cat got startled and, and the knife began to slip. And then they crashed into each other, cat and pumpkin flesh and blade. And the knife fell to the arid ground. And the scoundrel stood, then swayed. Cat Cowboy crumpled to the dirt, and Pumpkin kneeled beside. And Cow stood vigil next to him, as Pumpkin Cowboy cried. He tipped his hat at Cowboy Cat, and stood without a sound. And when town folk came to cheer his name, our hero wasn't found. Some say he started wandering for greener fields to roam, but he didn't bring his cattle, and his horse stayed there at home. The very next morn, the calf was born, the town's own pride and joy. And the folks will regale you with a gorgeous tale. The tail.